हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एट वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर लाइव वेलकम टू अनदर पॉडकास्ट एपिसोड बाय टीम थिंक रिव्यूज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एन इंटरेस्टिंग बुक इट इज़ अ कॉमन परसेप्शन दैट स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज ऑल अबाउट रिलीजियस स्टफ एंड इज मेनली एसोशिएटेड विद द आफ्टर लाइफ इवेंट्स इट हैज अ वेरी ब्रॉड कैनवास एक्चुअली and it is applicable to many aspects of life if not all including leadership we know that every team every family every group needs a leader actually you might be playing role of a leader in some aspects of your professional life at any level recently we got a chance to explore books by pranay in which he talks about various bharatiya that is indian scriptures and its applications in the modern world especially in the spirituality for leadership and success area we found the concept interesting and with the hope that these books enlighten some of the interesting aspects of ancient indian literature we have started reading the book from this series I will share links to all the books in the series in the description below. Today we will share our views and reviews for Vedanta Spirituality for Leadership and Success by Pranay. Of course, we shouldn't judge a book by its cover only. But the cover page is responsible for the first impression of the book. It also helps the book to stand out while put in display along with many other items. Without a doubt, an attractive cover page attracts potential readers towards it. Let us take a look at the cover page of this book. As you can see in our podcast cover, the white background reflects the soothingness and purity and remains faithful of the book topic and genre. The golden color used for the title Vedanta reflects the wealthy treasure of knowledge the Vedanta holds. The thin fonts used for the tagline complements the same. Seeing the most powerful and meaningful letter Om in pure white color in its center of pink flower represents spirituality. It is said that the sound of Om travels in sync with the universe as it is the sound of creation the big bang and thus it is considered as sacred and is used in all the spiritual or dharmic rituals and acts as per the bharatiya customs as per the belief of bharatiya civilization the god of creation brahma sits on a lotus and the flower on the cover page reflects the same So overall the cover page of this book is not only attractive and appealing it holds deep meaning as well kudos to the cover designer team i really like the cover page our regular readers know that usually we talk about a book in two separate segments dedicated to the book content and our views and reviews distinctively and we follow the same tradition in our book review podcast also the nature of this book is quite different so here we are going to merge both these segments together when you are responsible for the management and well being of your team it could be your family your classroom boardroom sports team society humanity whatever it is you have to be very careful You cannot take decisions in haste as they are going to affect many lives so you have to be calm and composed analyze the situation properly and then decide the course of action right the book thus starts with a quote from yog vashisht o ram when the mind is calm it is free a perfect start for a book that explores leadership lessons from vedanta on the fifth page of the book the author summarizes the theme of the book in simple lines he says 
it contains the most essential principles for life leadership and success this book distills the essence of vedanta for positive leadership and truly successful living the actual content of the book starts with adi shankara or adi shankaracharya he was a legend who traveled the bharatvars on feet to spread the spiritual and wisdom lessons of our ancient literature and reestablish the sanatan dharma the good thing is the author has referred him properly as adi shankaracharya shankaracharya was no doubt a fantastic and capable leader in a very small life he made an impact that the most people may not make by living almost a century or even beyond and if you think that vedanta considering it religious literature may be conveying rigid stuff you will be wrong the ancient bharatiya that is indian literature is about progressive stuff and evolution the author quotes evolution in the way we view ourselves is key to how we act within the world and like the other books by pranay in this series he refers many contemporary and comparatively modern characters from around the world in this book as well he says in the modern age great scientists such as dr george sudarshan who has been nominated so many times for the nobel prize in physics are also saying that the upanishads and vedas have told us about the singularity of life as a product of mysterious higher consciousness or energy this singularity of unlimited consciousness energy is what all things are but we human beings often mistake and it continues the author infused some fantastic lines in the book that are worth quoting here are some of them our most limiting factor in life is psychological fear a great leader must be an insightful leader successful leaders and successful people in general know the art of cooperation the secret of leadership energy is feeling youthful in spirit our ego is constantly shaped by the opinions of others a leader has to consider his team as a special entity in his life at that particular point in time of course without having a strong relationship with the team it is tough to lead it because ultimately a team is a set of people working together as an entity achieve a common goal or perform a common task the author rightly says great leaders make team work into a feeling of fellowship a belonging together for a common cause a leader has to be confident but you cannot fake confidence especially in front of intelligent team members often people have a very artificial or cultivated confidence they try to impose self importance from the outside so what is the way well you need to have sufficient knowledge about the topic and has tremendous analytical power to analyze the situation and decide the course ahead remember sa vidya ya vimukta ye is something a leader must not forget and that leads to another important quality a leader must have the author says the mind of a leader needs to be clear sahaj and unclouded nishkalang the author also refers the current lifestyle when he say the key problem with men is we want everything in a hurry we want great things instantaneously i like that there is a chapter dedicated to courage during crisis and he refers to the tales of ram and krishna who are the avatars of vishnu and are the most prominent amongst the gods the bharatiya people 
pray in almost every aspects of their life the vedantic parable of ram and the story of krishna reminds us that even the greatest personalities made several decisions during crises that we can easily question yet eventually victory was with them and with those who listened to them according to me the most important advice one can learn from the book is no need to be faultless is often fear of making a mistake prevents people from trying i also like the following conversation in the book why do misunderstandings happen between people they happen mostly because people are constantly looking for perfection in the other person's situation not realizing that this very obsession creates misunderstanding the author summarizes as he says the entire goal of vedanta and core hindu spirituality is to make human beings feel unbounded and infinite the quotes we have discussed so far must have given you a fair idea about the content of the book and its quality to me it is a book worth reading for sure in summary it is a really nice and enriching book that talks about spirituality and modern day management such books are not meant for time pass reading you need to run a cycle to reread and implement the thoughts in actions to get the most of it if you plan to do so go for this book thinker reviews rating would be around 7.5 stars out of 10 so have you already read the book are you planning to read it what do you think about this book review do you find it helpful in deciding whether to go for the book or not Please do share your genuine remarks via comments below. If you have enjoyed listening to the review, please hit the like button and do not forget to share it with your friends and other fellows whom you think such reviews interest more. Till we meet with our next podcast. Bye bye. Take care. Namaskar.